Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Welcome to the 6th Android app development tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous two tutorials. I am going to explain you in this tutorial about the resource folder, action bar activity, activity class, main activity.java and how you are able to print the hello world in your application. Now let's move forward. Now. Here you can see you can find your resource folder. Now what this resource folder stands for and inside the resource folder you can see loads of folders are there like drawable, layout, menu, values etc etc. Now the resource folder is the folder where you can find all the resource attributes of your application. For example inside the drawable folder we use to store images for our layout. Now. You must be thinking what this HDPI, LDPI and all these drawable folders stands for. These are actually the screen densities. For each screen density, you have to store an image of the corresponding resolution in the corresponding drawable folders so as to make your application run in all such devices. Now all those resolution and screen densities I am going to discuss in detail in the downline tutorials. As of now, just remember images are stored in the drawable folder. Now, next come the layout folder. These layout folder actually responsible for the appearance of your application pages. Now, next comes the values folder which contains the various XML files which is the collection of resources such as string or color definition. Now, what does that mean? Now, inside the strings folder, you can mention your string array or a single string you can define as of now we are just having a single string that is hello world inside the strings.xml now this styles.xml actually contains how your app can be styled what is your present app theme and if you want to change your app you can simply go to the styles.xml and change your app theme or you can change your app theme from android manifest.xml which I am going to explain you in the next tutorial. Now let's move forward. Now how you are able to print this hello world exclamation in your Android app. Now inside the layout folder we had our activity main.xml. Now inside the activity main.xml we had a tag that is a text view. Now this hello world is actually a text view that is appearing in your screen. Now inside the text view we had some attributes now these attributes again you don't have to type all these stuffs one by one i will tell you the shortcuts to write all these codes in your android applications as of now our objective is not this so let's leave this here only now next come android text equal to add the red string slash hello underscore world now this statement is actually responsible to print the hello world here now at the rate string is indicating the address where this hello world is stored and this hello world is identified by a keyword this hello underscore world now this is actually the id attribute now inside the values folder we had strings dot xml now inside the string dot xml we had a string that we just saw in our third android tutorial now this is our markup language so we are opening this tag and we are closing this tags too. Now within these two tags we are storing our hello world. Now I just forgot to mention the exclamation mark here which is printed here. Not an issue. Now this is actually the attribute of this tag. Now this attribute is actually name equal to hello underscore world. So this hello underscore world and this hello underscore world is actually equal. Now suppose you have various strings inside the string.xml so hello underscore world will help us to identify where this hello world is actually stored which is stored in this, this string with the name hello underscore world. Now this string is actually stored inside the tag that is resources right. It is very simple guys you don't have to remember all these codes these codes can be auto generated so don't be worried about the code stuffs now how to link your xml file with the main activity now let's check the codes of the main activity inside the main activity.java we have a class name main activity this main activity extends action bar activity 
this action bar activity is actually a super class which is providing many features to the main activity class when you extend or inherit the action bar activity in the main activity then you have to import a package android.support v7 app action bar activity it is also a auto generated package you don't have to remember the codes of this sentence now inside the main activity we have to override on create bundle function now inside the on create we have to write super dot on create is it this is also auto generated after that set content view now this is our required statement that links the activity underscore main dot xml to the main activity now when you run the application your app will appear like this you will get the output hello world using the main activity java which is linked by activity underscore main dot xml this provides the ui and this provides the codes so combining both we get the output like this earlier before 3.0 we had our class named activity main activity extends activity now what the heck why we are having this action bar activity this action bar activity actually provides a custom title bar that you can see here you can see a borderline here this actually we can customize in our app as per our wish we can add a button here we can add colors here whatever but if you write like this extends activity and you have to import a package android.app.activity which is auto generated so in this case you will get the output like this we don't have a title bar here it is a very simple title bar that you are gonna get so in our tutorials we will use the action bar activity instead of activity so guys i will stop here and i will continue my discussion with the android manifest and the difference between the action bar activity and the activity in detail in the next tutorial so stay tuned guys this is shrix from smarthood signing off and please subscribe to my channel and do share my video and leave a comment below my video i would love to hear from you guys thank you